Many tools are used to keep an eye on the sky when it comes to severe weather. TV6 meteorologist Cassie Lane looks into how one of them works. If you've driven on US 41 between Marquette and Nagani, you've probably noticed the unique feature on the side of the road. Some describe it as a golf ball, others a soccer ball on a pedestal. In reality, this unofficial landmark is the Doppler radar. Standing about 120 feet off the ground with a 100 stair climb, the Doppler is one of the most powerful weather monitoring tools at the National Weather Service. And it basically provides us that continuous overwatch as to what's happening across all of Upper Michigan. The product that the radar develops is used by many, but how it gets the data is a little more complicated. The way the radar actually works is it sends out a pulse of energy into the atmosphere and anything that energy encounters um, from bugs, dust, pollen to raindrops or snowflakes, whatever is out there in the atmosphere will then reflect that energy mm -hmm. back to the radar. The radar only sends out energy for about seven seconds of every hour. The rest of the time, it is listening for return pulses. Once it runs through the processing and, and prettied up a little bit and put on our maps, that's what most people are used to seeing. It is at this point that we are able to determine the type and intensity of the precipitation. Cassie Lane, TV6 News.